Our students do their own laundry. Global village aspect, citizens of the world is what we call it. My name is Stephen, and I'm the chairman of the operational board. The school belongs to a foundation board, and today we are officially retired. We st still try to help because our sons, yeah. the third generation of the school, are now in charge of all operational aspects. My parents started the school. 百分之百全寄宿，这三个词呢，很好的概括了 Lazon American School， 瑞士美国学校。In 1949, Americans started to come into Europe. The Cold War was starting to heat up. There were businesses coming, and the schools opened. Amer American schools, but there was no nothing to do in the summer. Europe was destroyed. So my my parents started a summer camp in a little town called Interlaken. And the campers were Americans, but the counselors were from all over Europe, Germans and French and British and so on. Right. And these counselors were told by my mother, politics stays outside the door. Mm -hmm. We're here to take care of the kids. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, a miracle happened. Because after six weeks, the counselors who had been shooting at each other, throwing bombs at each other, and probably killing each other, were friends and had discovered their mutual and joint humanity. Mm -hmm. This was the trigger to wanting to start an international school in Lausanne, which opened in 1960. 说到瑞士呢，你可能马上联想到贵族学校，但是呢，在 Lausanne American School， 他们并不提倡贵族教育。我们来听听校长们是怎么说的吧。Um, and what makes you guys,、uh, you know, differentiate you guys from other schools?、Yeah. I think there's several. We're one of two schools that is only boarding. Okay. We have no day students,、mm. and the advantage of being only boarding is that, is that all kids are in the same boat. They follow the same rules. There is not there are not parents out there who all educate their or bring up their children differently. They are all in the same boat.、Mm. Second thing is we have we're a family school.、Mm. We talked about that before. The third thing is we, although we're IB, we approach education with an American philosophy, educational philosophy,、right. looking to the individual, trying to bring out the best in the student,、yeah. optimistic about the、uh, about the student's future.、Mm -hmm. But there's another thing that I just want to quickly add. Excuse me,、yeah. uh, that differentiates us from other boarding schools in Switzerland. Our students do their own laundry, <laughs> and I think most other boarding schools meritocratic. Is community in、yes. a meritocracy. Usually,、so, they will have their own maids or yeah, you know,、right. servants. We, to do don't, it. <laughs> we don't recognize <laughs> blue-blooded people. <laughs> in the application process, you know, there are the essays, there is、yes. the interview, there are the testings. Yes. Do you have particular preference for one step over another? Getting a full、yeah. picture、yeah. of the student is、yeah. important.、Yeah. There's another aspect which is very important,、mm -hmm. and that is, yes, we're a boarding school. But we're not a parking lot boarding school.、Right. We want parents to be actively involved in the education of their children,、mm -hmm. and so when we interview、uh, students, we're also interviewing parents.、Ah. Do they support the philosophy of the school?、Mm -hmm. Do they agree with the value structure that we have? Because if a student comes to us and stays with us for three, four, five, six years.、Mm -hmm. The values that we have will be the values of the student,、yes. and if the parents don't agree with those values,、mm -hmm. we might not get along so well. We also look at the international outlook of parents.、Mm -hmm. If a parent, if parents have traveled a lot, maybe they have international business relations,、yeah. then the the student who's applying already is sort of into that feeling of international. 
global village aspect, citizens of the world is what we call it. Right. British schools and American schools' difference is that British schools' percentage of global students will rise to 80% or 90%. So, these schools, when they choose to pick up families, also hope that you have a global perspective and have a lot of experience in international traveling. What are some of the core skills you feel like are the most important aspects for a student's success in the future? Okay, if I look, if we look at what the future needs, or what a young person needs in the future, mm -hmm. it is the the flexibility and the ability to learn, mm -hmm. because the world is changing so very fast, yes. mostly in China. And we believe that our students in the future may have three to five different professions, mm -hmm. because. Uh, the world is changing so fast that right. they need to they will be keep the adapting and, and they will be they the leaders. They will be the leaders and, because yes. they come, that's where yes. the families come in. Yeah. They come from backgrounds of yes. families that are leaders in industry or leaders in government. Yeah. And that is what the parents have already given to the kids, maybe without even talking Realizing about it. Realizing it's the influence. They, it's, yeah. it's, yes. they will become the leaders in the future. Right.